Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 16 of John chapter 14. Jesus is speaking. I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Helper, that He may be with you forever, that is, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see Him or know Him. But you know Him, because He abides with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. The Holy Spirit comes to permanently live within each believer at the moment of salvation. But not every Christian understands this. And some who do realize this don't understand who the Spirit is, how He works, or why His indwelling presence is so significant. The Holy Spirit is a person, not simply a power or force. And He, along with the other two members of the Trinity, was involved in creation. We know this because when God created mankind, He said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. The plural pronouns in this passage refer to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. On the night before the crucifixion, Jesus told the disciples that the Heavenly Father would send them a Helper who would be with them and in them forever. Even though the Lord would no longer be physically present, He wasn't going to leave them to fend for themselves like orphans. Instead, He promised to come to them through the presence of His Spirit. Because of the crucifixion, the Holy Spirit is every Christian's leader, guide, teacher, and comforter. His presence in us means that we are God's children and that God has upheld His promise to always be with us.